Hi, so what I wanted to do in this quick conversation is chat with Bronson here, who, who works at the Plum Farm, who's one of the major guys that, that collects the data um, that you'll be, that you'll be um, sharing with us as part of the project. So um, just as a top level, Bronson, how long does the whole process take for, um, for you to come and grab some of the data from the, from the grower? Yeah, look, Brent, it, it, it is variable dependent on the amount of access um, that we do have to your information and how readily available you guys do have it. So, you know, if you guys have the information readily available, it's an extremely quick process. We just pull the data. How long is that need. sort of quick? Um, we're, we're probably talking look like 15 to 20 minutes if the data is yeah. readily available because it's as simple as pulling in um, some production information, pulling some reports from your cash book, um, such as your cash flows and some balance sheet information. And from there, we can really start to build the file and um, fill in the gaps where required. Super stuff. So do you want to talk us through the process? Yeah, definitely. So look, the, the initial process will be, we'll come out to your property, uh, meet and greet with your consultant. It's likely to be someone like me initially um, to run you through the process and get to know you a little better. From there, we'll assign a um, consultant, which may well be myself or um, one of the other professionals we've got here. Um, on that day, we, we do typically try to gather some data. It's not a requirement necessarily, but it is a good way to get the ball rolling with some really simple information such as um, your contact details, um, who your professional partners are, you know, a simple introduction to people such as your accountant, your bookkeepers, um, even if you've got an agronomist, people that we might be communicating with to get some of this information. And yeah, just getting some really general business information surrounding your areas, um, how many employees you've got, um, who's involved with the business, your, your key stakeholders. And yeah. that that pretty much wraps it up uh, on that initial meeting. And then we'll begin to dig a bit deeper into the data. Yeah, so what, what's required there? Because you talked earlier on about getting access to cash books. Yeah, that's correct. So. We, within the data, data gathering, we'll be looking to get production information. So what that includes is your areas grown for each crop, um, the total amount of that crop grown in kilograms or in tonnes, and we can do a simple conversion. Um, and even if you've got the information surrounding your water usage, that that's a really interesting metric for us as well, because we get the ability to look at your water use efficiency and stuff like that. So that's your, your production information that we typically look at. And it, it is really yeah. simple if it is readily available, but if not, um, that's something that we'll work one-on-one -on -one with you guys to see if we can put the systems in place to record that. Um, from there, we get into some more financial information, um, getting um, three key reports from your cash book, uh, your cash flow summaries, which looks at your transactions, um, some information around those transactions through a general ledger or a similar sort of a report, and then some balance sheet information so that we can have a look at the position of the business. And the power of having that financial information joined with production is we can really get into looking at how your production relates to the profitability um, and success of the business, which is a, a complete I guess, extension as to what your accountant would typically do, which is yeah. purely financial. And I guess that that's where the difference really lies in our service. Yeah. Now, I know that uh, particularly last year, we had a lot of conversation with growers about you actually having access to the cash books. Do you want to talk a bit more about that? Yeah. And, and it's, it's really just for the benefit of both parties. So I, I completely understand the hesitancy um, surrounding cash book and sharing that information with someone such as myself or Plan Farm. Um, we, our business is built purely on co confidentiality. So there's no way whatsoever that that information would be going anywhere outside of Plan Farm or your business. Um, 
and and the benefits that you guys get from sharing that is that you there will be no requirement from your end to pull those reports out, which is often time consuming and can be confusing if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and it gives us the ability to go in there, do that for you and interrogate a little bit further into those codes and you know what's actually going in uh, to that cash book, which sometimes, you know, as we can all, as we all do, we like to do things our own ways. And, you know, if we're looking at a code, we may not be able to connect the dots as well as what you would be able to from yeah. um, within. So that's where the benefit really lies. It's pretty much just to get a little bit deeper into the data and to save yeah. you guys time. And that's and that would only be a read only, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. And we're we're not accountants. That there's no reason for us to be touching or going anywhere outside of the jurisdiction of what we're doing. Uh, we'll be purely just looking at the numbers and um, extracting the reports required to present that information back to you guys. If someone's not so comfortable about giving you access to their cash books, then how does it work then? Yeah, look, there's, there's definitely ways to work around that. It just means that we will have to sit down with you guys um, and work through pulling out those reports. And, you know, often that adds um, hours to the the process, not necessarily ours, but you know, over the period of the project, it just is another job for you guys to have to do. And it yep. also means that the interrogation, you know, process into those numbers um, probably is not going to be as detailed as it yep. potentially would be if we had access to do that. Well, know. there might be a lot of to and fro conversations. Exactly. And yeah, stuff, that's right. Which then yeah. takes up the grower's time. Yeah. That's exactly right. And bookkeepers and accountants and, you know, uh, we don't want to be disturbing those guys any more than we have to necessarily. Exactly. So there's the production information, ideally getting access to the cash book so you can work the stuff out. Is there anything else? No, not in particular. Um, I think that one of the key things that I've really found benefit from working with my clients so far is having that introduction from your end to your professional partners, such as an accountant or a bookkeeper, so that we're all on the same page. Um, quite often accountants, um, you know, do have the perception that we're, we're trying to take their, you know, not their job, but trying to do their role in a lot of ways. What we do is really try, and it's a huge thing that we do in Broadacre is work one-on-one -on -one with accountants. We, do different jobs. We look at the production and how that relates to um, the financials. Your accountant looks at the financials and how that relates to the taxation side of the business. So we, our jobs are very different, but both play a huge role in, um, I guess, the success from a financial yep. standpoint of the business. So um, having that introduction there and really allowing us to explain how we can benefit each other um, I think that that's, that's a huge plus if we can have that. Yeah. And I think certainly, you know, earlier in the project, that's really helped to smooth things out. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like we've been able to build some really good relationships with um, our horticultural clients, um, accountants and other professionals within their business. And I think that they're beginning to understand and see the value in it for their clients as well. And of course, they love to be able to add value to you guys where possible. So working together, hopefully we can achieve that. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say really about this? No, I mean, from a data gathering perspective, that's that's where it is. That The sooner you can get that data into us and um, as simply as possible, then we can get that back to you guys and really start to have the meaningful conversations, which is the important part of the project, I guess. Yeah. Um, that's where because, the gold is. You know, without, without actually seeing the benefit and receiving your report and having your one-to-one -one review, um, you know, it, it is often hard to see where if you're going to get value out of this. But if you can just, um, if we can get to that point, I think that everyone that's got to that point so far really sees the value. And even for the coming year, everyone cannot wait to get their data in so that they can do their review. So. Um, I think that that's, that's something, if you can get past this point, which no one necessarily likes doing, then you'll really see the benefit. Yeah. And I think one final point is, you know, we'll come out and, and see you, make sure you're comfortable with the process before you agree. 
I want yeah. you to agree. I think the real key is get straight on this before all the other competing priorities come on board. Because then what happens is you, you know, you get full of excitement about wanting to participate in the project and, mm -hmm. and, and having somebody go through your business. Then competing priorities occur, and then all of a sudden you're phoning a few times, I'm phoning a few times, people start getting embarrassed, and then it all starts to fizzle out. So I think the best thing is to just get straight on with it, you know, two-way communication with yourself, what's happening, what do I need to do, et cetera, et cetera. And we can get through this really quickly and like you say, straight to the um, report and the one-to-one, -one, which is where the real benefit and value of this project participation yeah. lies. Definitely. And and by no means feel that there is any pressure. We are very, very flexible in the way that we do things. We will, well, I'll ensure that we make time to come and see you guys when it works for you guys. And there's no, um, you know, if something comes up, we work with farmers every day. So we understand that yeah. these things happen and we are very flexible. So yeah. um, we're here to, to help you guys at the end of the day. So that's I great. think the only thing would be if something comes up, then please tell us when it will be a good time. Yeah, Just don't yeah. tell us you can't come. That's right. Cool. All right, Bronson, thank you very much. Thanks, Bryn.